Hello folks, now that the Galaxy S23 has launched, reviews are out and consumers have been using the phones for more than a month, news surrounding the Galaxy S24 series has started circulating. According to a report from Sam Lover, the Galaxy S24 series will feature Super AMOLED screens with a 144Hz refresh rate. Starting with the Galaxy S20 series, Samsung used 120Hz Super AMOLED screens in its high-end phones. And while some gaming phones and high-end smartphones from rival brands offer screens with a 144Hz refresh rate, Samsung has so far stayed away from 144Hz screens. If this report is correct, it could switch to 144Hz Super AMOLED screens for a smoother experience while scrolling, swiping and gaming. The report goes on to take some educated guesses about the Galaxy S24 series, including the phones in the lineup running Android 14 based One UI 6 out of the box. It also claims that the next generation Galaxy S series phones from Samsung will come equipped with the Snapdragon Agent 3 chipset. This claim also looks like an educated guess, looking at Samsung's past record. It has been claimed that the phones will feature UFS 4.1 storage. On the Imagine front, it was earlier reported by Tipster Ice Universe that Samsung will use 200 megapixels primary cameras on its high-end phones for three years, starting with the Galaxy S23 series. The new report reiterates the claim. Moreover, it claims that the Galaxy S24 series offers improved zoom performance, which anyone can expect. The report also claims that Samsung will equip the Galaxy S24, Galaxy S24 Plus and Galaxy S24 Ultra with two-way satellite connectivity for calling and texting in conditions where conventional cellular signals aren't available. It was earlier reported that the Galaxy S23 series would be the first from Samsung to get that feature, but that turned out to be incorrect. And Samsung MX CEO said it would be too early to bring the feature to the masses as the technology isn't ready for scale yet. Since most people weren't impressed with the Galaxy Galaxy S23 at first due to its modest specs compared to its predecessors, people might like the Galaxy S24 more as it could bring fancy specifications like a 144Hz refresh rate. Most of the claims in the new Galaxy S24 report seem like educated guesses rather than constant information, so take it with a pinch of salt and wait for a few months before believing anything about Samsung's next generation Galaxy S series phones. If you keep up with the news as closely as we do, you'll know that in recent months there have been a lot of speculations about the Galaxy S23 FE that can make your head spin. Whether or not Samsung will miss manufacturing a Galaxy S Fun Edition for the second year in a row has been the source of much debate. However, the folks in Sam Mobile claim the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE will launch in quarter 4, 2023, meaning any time between October and December 2023. The publication also claims the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE will be powered by the Exynos 2200 in all regions, unlike the S21 FE, which came with the Snapdragon or Exynos chip depending on the market. Other Samsung Galaxy S23 FE specs revealed by the source include an upgraded primary camera, could be 50 megapixels, a 4500 mAh battery, likely supporting 25 watts charging, and two storage options, 128 and 256 GB. RAM could be 6 or 8 GB. According to the source, the Galaxy S23 FE will have model code SMS. 711X, which will be in line with the model designation for Samsung's recent S-series flagships. While Sam Mobile takes care to only publish information from reliable sources, some of the details may change between now and when the new phone is released. As always, we'll let you know as soon as any relevant information becomes available. So, subscribe to the channel, see you in the next video, good luck to all!